Hello, my name is Professor Sir Taryn Stevenson. I'm uh, the Nuffield Professor of Child Health at the Institute of Child Health at University College London and I'm a practicing paediatrician in London. And I'm talking today about why your child's vaccinations are so important. I've been practicing paediatrics for almost 40 years and uh, spent a huge amount of my time talking to parents about and, and older children about vaccinations and why I believe they're, they're good for us all. It's crucial that we protect children against vaccine preventable illnesses because over a period of time, perhaps we've all got a bit complacent. When I was young, I had older brothers and sisters who, who were born before vaccines were widely available. And my parents' view of things like diphtheria, polio, tetanus, these were really savage, frightening diseases that people were very aware of and knew that if you got them, you could do very little about them. And vaccinations have had a huge impact on reducing those kind of diseases or indeed abolishing them completely and reducing the number of children coming into hospital and the number of children dying. However, sadly, I did say we perhaps got a little bit complacent because we see them so rarely. We think they're gone, but there's still a risk they'll come back. And if children miss the vaccinations that they're due to have, they can quickly spread again. And we certainly have seen that here in the United Kingdom particularly in London where I practice, we've at different times seen surges in whooping cough, for example, or measles when vaccination re rates fall. Over my career, the age at which we vaccinate children has been shown to be safe to come down and down and down. So we're now vaccinating young infants who wouldn't have been protected before. I've mentioned that the inf infections they're fighting are really serious. Sometimes people think, you know, MMR, measles, mumps, rubella, aren't they just childhood rashes? The child gets a little pink rash for a while and that's it. No. Measles can kill or cause a permanent damage to the brain. Mumps, before we had vaccines, was the commonest cause of young children becoming profoundly deaf and needing hearing aids. And rubella, if a teenage girl or woman who is uh, in the early stages of pregnancy gets rubella, their child can be deformed or indeed the baby can die before it's born. Finally, Vaccination protects all family members, not just the child who's vaccinated. By vaccinating your child, you're protecting perhaps a newborn baby who's too young to be vaccinated, a brother or sister. What about a brother or sister who has some disease that means they can't be vaccinated, perhaps a, a childhood cancer? What about the grandparents who help care for that child when you're at work? They're vulnerable. If the child's vaccinated and can't get influenza, or pneumococcal disease, then they can't pass it on to their grandparents and their grandparents, being older, are very vulnerable. So that's why vaccinations are really important for all children.